Ding dong. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be drawing the devil puss, the combination of the devil and the octopus, and the bonus photo which I'll be able to show you later. So let's get started and not get eaten by any tentacles or something. First things first, we're going to start with the body lines for Akashita Watanabe. Fine with a sword and shield, and basically he doesn't have a communicator to collaborate with Megobi Watanabe, his wife. What's weird is that fighting without a communicator could cause some people to call the emergency, call 911 to find out who's lost track of a map, or lost track of anyone without a map. But if you happen to find a friend without the map, then you should be fine. Once we're done with the body lines, and the body structure that I'm finishing up right now, we're going to do expressions, and hair. This is not a speed paint, but this is technically normal, but for a bonus, for a bonus video, it's going to be that way after this one. Let's make him angry because he's fighting an octopus that is very large, and on the sea. In order for him to fight, he needs the armor, the sword, and the shield to protect himself. Like all the fighters who wears that, he needs to be protective so he won't be able to take any damage on the body. Or of course for the face, you need the helmet as well. All of the armors have the different variations so we probably had to create future concepts. And once we're done with the line notes of Akashita Watanabe, his armor, his sword, and the shield, and hair, we're going to fill the color and create shadings at night time, basically because we're absolutely going to be sure that we don't create too many layers in reach limit. The maximum is 22 on 4032p. That way we will have so much room and create it that way. So in that state, we might as well have to be sure if it's set right for correct storage. Or space, if you know what it means for that. Of course if you're wondering why I'm creating footage of the hairlines, if I didn't intend to do too much, some of you might ask, will we be able to create hairlines on footage? Only a few clips? That I might answer just a bit, but not too many for all the other characters, just because I don't need to take too long, otherwise it will crash the footage clips, or at least corrupt the file, that way it will be able to upload anytime soon. After a brief shading of Akashita and his armor upgrades, but not the highlights just yet, we're going to create an area of sand and sea. Basically, between the out and inside the sea is the well-known octopus. In Japan, the octopuses are known as Akurokamui. Akurokamui is a sea monster who likes to eat offerings that flits to fish grab, mollusk, and other particular things to do with it. Instead, I'm giving him devil horns and a flowy hair that represents where it's known to be some sort of, some sort of devil hair thing? I'm not so sure, but I had to put it there for some reason. So that's a giant octopus, and we're going to add fabrics of the shading of dark blue. We're not going to put in the lighting just about yet, but we're going to give him a full shading and then we'll create an area or landscapes to make sure that light is reflecting.
So for such suspension of the shadings in both characters, Akashita is facing Octopus and the lighting is in front of him. And the Octopus is facing Akashita and it's not so he's not looking at it. Just so I had to repeat what I said about the hairlines, I'm going to include a few of them but not many of them because I need to make sure the file is safe to mp4 as a video file I really need to be sure it's okay for you to see that in small increments Let's put a little more of a fabric on the octopus with all the other parts because the horns are also that way but they're half metal. They are occasionally that but at the same time they have a lot more glowing effect than the fabric or the fabric is a lot more brighter than the metal. Same as gold, I'm not sure. But as soon as we're already done with the shadings we're going to add tentacles with tentacle circles or pores. After that we're going to add some shadings on the butt and the bottom parts of the legs. Or tentacles or whatever you want to call it, but it's still the bottom parts of the legs. Okay, so now we're done with the shadings of both characters. We're going to add a lot of lighting in them and the ocean and some of the sand. Eventually they're going to fight each other at night. That way I can choose what Tanabe will win and cook him for dinner. First off, we'll start with the octopus. And to do that, we're going to add some lightning on the blue sky. The sky blue lightning that reflects from the moon and the moon is not there just yet. I don't know why I missed it inside the river, but I'm pretty sure there will be a reflection that I forgot to input. It's still good for nonetheless. Let's make some river lines. Basically, we see seawater in ocean waves. You can barely see why they're, they're so visible. They can be washed out by any reflection. Or they can just be sunk in every other way due to how much deeper you can go. And no matter how deep you go, the further you get, no longer you may see it, but you can see it 10% clearly. Basically because of that, the light is going to be reflecting the sun or waves. The waves are going to be a lot more reflected by sunset, how much glow it has to be on the highlight. Basically, I'm going to you know, put them on sky blue, or bright blue, bright blue. <laughs> so yeah, I'm putting the highlight on the light blue. Let's make sure it's reflecting the moon pretty smoothly. Not roughly, but smoothly, depending on how deep you go. So I'm putting a lot more transparent of how close the sand is, and how far it goes. So in that case, it can be a lot more noticeable of how its transparency works. <laughs> I'm not so sure that the water waves are not enough highlight to put in. So in that case, I put the glowing effect and use glow brush. Or I can set the glow on the airbrush if it's not much softer as it should be. Because of how the water is reflecting all of that light on the front, you can barely see how the highlights on the water waves are a lot more similar, and yet they're glowing in every other reflecting light from the sun, from the moon, or basically the sunset, because how it works on science, earth science, because the water is made made from Milky Way, and the earth is made by water, and grassland, and hills, basically everything else in there. 
So now we're going to put some highlights on Akashita and his armor. And the going effect on his armor only. Because his armor upgrades of shield and sword are shinier and can be reflected by sun, sunset, and moonlight. Basically because it has a lot more power. I like swords because they remind me of Future Trust's sword in Dragon Ball Z Soul Arc and Dragon Ball Super's Future Trunks Arc and Legend of Zelda when he grabs a massive sword. They're pretty cool though. Just in case that I forgot to add water waves, they can wash the sand off and to make sure they have to keep them wet and cool. And for other things, they can wash clothes and the laundry mat. Some neat stuff that you had to do where you had to suck yourself in and get some sucking in to the beach. And that's it for the Moonlight Cuts at Art. Yep, it's a comedic battle against the knight and the devil bus. Or a cow Conway. Seriously, don't let it eat you. It's dangerous. Oops, I almost forgot something. We're going to create a special drawing for Valentine's Day. Something related to giving them chocolate inside the heart. Well, of course the Valentine photo is also the bonus. Basically because I wanted to add something. Just more, more than one picture. More than one design with a lot of landscapes. The same as the last one. Well, there's nothing to talk about the line art. The shadings. Or the highlights. But we can talk about how we rotate by giving each other something good in Valentine's Day. As it always should be, and it's always enjoyable to do so. As for this concept art, I'm giving them red velvet bread. Pieces of red velvet bread that's kind of like chocolate and containers of Valentine. I'm not really sure, but it's like a plate of it. It's really good. And Mari. She's actually blessing if she already tasted how it's so good. It's a very good treat. It's kind of like chocolate or something like the red velvet cake and bread together. It's well made in the combination of what your ingredients are. It really is that good. Well, it's always fun to do something silly after you first tried the food you already ate. It's kind of funny why we had to put some of your moments where if you first tried it. It's kind of kind of tasty, I think. And Narika tries the piece of it too. It's really not a real life photo, but it's something I can imagine due to the fantasies of different pictures, such as anime or the manga, or the light novels, anything really to that. That's all it is to talk about this concept art for Valentine's Day. I was going to put Bob Ross in this picture as well, but it didn't make it in time that I was too late, so I placed it with a pillow, a heart shaped pillow. How fluffy. She was your Valentine's Day. I mean, Happy Valentine's Day. That was me saying that in Japanese.